Hi everybody and welcome back. Now we have our body prepared. We did it in the last video. We're going to start putting in the bone for our avatar. Now it seems kind of weird using a regular person skeleton for our dog, but really this is the best way to go about it. At least the best way I've found to go on about it. Because um, what we do when we want to change it to bento is that we're going to convert our normal already rigged skeleton over into a bento one and then we just make really tiny modifications versus trying to move all of those bento bones sorting it around for the dog so I find that this way is a lot easier starting with a simple one have uh, I would start to convert it into a bento one and do all the work align the, the eyes and all the rest of that stuff for you and then you just make small modifications from there versus dealing with all 122 of those bento bones trying to get in the right place so we are going to start with this human figure here and we're going to turn this human into a dog now to do that you just need to put into your mind that there's a small person inside of a little dog suit kind of like you know this picture somebody drew about that they're aliens inside of cats which makes all the sense we're essentially going to be doing just this. So I'm going to start showing you how we're going to do it. So the first thing we need to do, or at least the first thing that I do, that's how I keep saying things I do. So that way you know that it may not be, it's definitely not the right way to do it, but it works for me. <laughs> Alright, so what I like to do is I like to go over to the Avastar tab and I change the, I click on the, the bones, the bones, click on the bones and <clears throat> ignore any errors that may come up and you want to go into the rigging panel and you want to press skin so we have the skin bones this is what we need then we're going to select the um, avastar meshes and I'm not going to delete them I'm just going to send them over to another layer so I'm going to press M and then shoot it somewhere over here and get it out of the way do the same thing for the eyes I always leave the eyes behind by mistake and they're usually just floating around. If you're having a hard time, you can just press the 5 on your numpad and that makes it a lot easier to manipulate the camera. So let's throw that away. Alright, so we have our skeleton and it's time to start editing said skeleton. So what we want to do is press tab and go into edit mode. And to make it easier for us, we're going to turn the symmetry on by going up to the options panel and then checking this X axis modifier. X axis mirror, not modifier. Box, and that allows us to move things. So whatever we do with this bone, it happens to the other bone over there. So we're not going like on this side and then running over here and making sure that it's even. Yes, it's even because we have that mod, that feature turned on. I'm gonna close the texture window because we don't need that open really. And then we're just gonna start moving the bones into place. So I like to start at the legs and make my way up to the head. So uh, you can click on the bones or you can hold C and then select all the bones right here. You can use the middle mouse button to deselect because I just select the origin so we don't want to mess with that right now. And then we're just going to drag this back. Spread the legs apart. Oops, what's over there dragging? Try that again. And then scoot these legs back. Spread these legs apart. And you want to grab the tip of the hip, the ball here. And that's how I like to move it so that it keeps this whole joint stretchy thingy. You don't want to grab the whole bone and move it over like this because then you create this chain effect here. Which I'm not sure is exactly a good thing. But I like to just stick with this and make giant bones if you want. Again, this is how I do it. It may not be the right way, but hell, it works. So I like to put the upper bone right here. And the lower bone, make sure you grab the ball. See, see, see. And press G, put this right here in the legs. So we have the lower legs done. You may want to straighten out your bones, but don't worry about it too much in the initial bone placing, uh, the bone setting stage. We can straighten them out at the end 
the idea is just to get them into a rough place. Alright, so the bones are there. So then we're going to press C again and select everything up here. And we're going to press R and rotate it down. So this is the person getting on the knees like this, like the bowing down. <laughs> I love how the bones just kind of shoot out like that. It's funny. So once it's like this, we're going to press S, scale it up a little bit, and I want to put it right in the middle. Don't worry about those flyaway bones. We're going to fix those later. Try to keep the bone straight, but it's just a little straight. Don't worry if your dog has bonitis. It's alright. It's alright. Like I said, we're going to fix it in the end and make it gorgeous. Alright, so now that we have our bones <laughs> relatively here. Now, if, uh, somebody asked me before how high, like how deep or shallow should you put the bone? Like how deep should it go inside the dog or not? Uh, when I put the spine, which is this right here, into the dog, I like to line its pelvis up with the tail because that will help out with the um when we convert it into bento it'll be a straight line going like pelvis tail rather than going pelvis up here tail something like that so i like to keep it as close as i can to the, the there uh, up there to the tail up kind of up to where you plan on placing your tail at great so now we're going to take everything from down here. Now I'll turn the mirror access off for a second. See and select. And I just want to pull this up. You want to try to have the pelvis be where, you know, hovering from tail to butt is pelvis. From there is torso. And the torso stops in the middle of the dog. And then you want chest up here so in the upper half of the body because remember the, the body's going to bend like kind of like an accordion if a dog has to sit down or bend forward the leg and things like that so this and then you want to make sure that your neck we saw here grab the ball inside and you're just going to push g and move that forward and now that it's right here in the neck you want to grab the next ball, top, the next top ball, here, and those two, the eyes, and then press R and rotate it up. Then we press G again. You want to have the neck bone in the neck, because, you know, it's a neck bone for a reason. It didn't spend all his life being a neck bone just to be somebody's butt. So you want to put the neck in the neck, even if it means archness a little bit Do it. neck is in the neck and then the head is here so I like to select all of this and then stretch it and make it a little bit bigger Cool, so we have a head bone, <laughs> a crooked head bone, but like I said, bone-itis is acceptable to the end. Now, um, skull, eh, we don't really use skull, but, you know, you can if you want to. I don't. Alright, now, as for this, we are going to need to turn on that X mirror again. Now, for the arms... We're going to select these bones. And like the feet, we're going to just drag them down. Now here's the problem. And it's something that you need to take a notice of. When you are working with animations and stuff for your dog, you will need to invert your legs. I have to thank somebody for this for pointing this out to me. If you just put the arms down into the body like normal, then when you go to use your IKs, the dog's legs will bend in an unnatural way. 
If you hang on for a second, I can show you the husky we did where this was an issue. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the husky we did where the legs were not inverted. And when we turned on the IK mode and we pressed G to, you know, move it around for IKs, you see the legs bend forward like this. And, you know, that's not good for animating. Didn't know that till recently. So what we had to do was we had to flip the legs around and pull the tools out this way. And that gave us a better result, which I can show you right now. Just give me a second to go find that one. <laughs> okay, so now you see this is an example of where we did invert the legs with the legs. And the IKs work like this. It's not exactly the best rigging, but you see how different that is. How his legs bend like a puppy should and not like a horse, as the animator said. So that's why we flip the IK the stuff around so you get better bending like that. So let's get back to the tutorial and show you how to do that. Okay, dope. So now we are back here with our little golden retriever and we are going to move his little golden retriever bones into place. So let's grab his collar, press G, and then move it right about here. Where I like to put them. And then we take the bones for the arms. Do, do, do. Scoot it forward. Oops, make sure you keep that supposed to be connected. I'm going to first put them in regularly because that makes it easier. Then we're going to grab our feet, the tip of our toes, pull it down, pull it up, pull it out. I like to keep the bones, like the toe bones, a little out of the paws. That way it's easier to grab it when you're animating and rigging and all that fun jazz. So pull these over and in. Rotate it like so. So you see the little person standing on all fours in there? <laughs> Alright, so now, like I said before, we have to rotate these so that it, these are pointed backwards. So you're just going to press R. I think it's X. Nope. R. Uh, let's see. So R and Z maybe. There you go. Rotate it backwards like this. And then just position them back in to the bones like this. And then we take the front. Like we're just going to select the tip of the toe bone and flip it over that way. And now the bones are set for, you know, eye king like the, we want it to be in animation. And I'm so sorry for the people who I taught earlier, like when, when I first started doing this, the wrong thing about not flipping them. I didn't know about it till exactly last week. Well, the last week of making this video. I know now. Alright, so the feet to in, toe there. Now we have a dog skeleton. We turn it aside and start doing that correction surgery on its spinal area. So press C and straighten out the bones a bit. Oh yeah, we may want to fix the eyes a bit because they're going to be shooting out like that and that's not good. So uh, let's, see. let's get these eyes in here. You can turn off the X modifier and put it in there if it's giving you too much grief. So eyeball goes here, eyeball goes there. Come on there, eyeball. All right, so we have our eyes. And if you want to press this one just to make sure that they are in the same height, cool. All right, and this is going to 
Eyes always do this to me. There we go. Yeah. That looks even to me. Press 5 and change my camera back. Yeah, that's as even as it's going to get. My dolls are known for their derpiness, so a crooked eyeballing is nothing new. <laughs> Alright, so we got our spine. We got all of this here. All that's left now is to attach the skeleton and start rigging. So I'm going to pause it here and we're going to start do our rigging and all the rest of that jazz in the next video.